Alright, so picking up where we left off in a previous lesson, in this one I'm going to show you how to use Shadow Catcher if you have just an environment map and you do not have any backplate. Uh, so first of all, we're going to get rid of our backplate, we're going to disable the direct visibility override, and so now we got just, just got our HDR map, and which is spherical environment, so we're going to just plug it here and change the projection mode to environment projection on the geometry which will mean it will project the spherical environment mapping onto our geometry okay once this is done double check everything is right in our environment slot and now if we just uh, look around obviously the angles of the when you have the uh, HDR only are very limited so you gotta play with the placement of the car a little bit so it kinda looks like it's actually in the uh, it's actually in the right scale so now if i render you can see this is basically all it takes just uh, plug the environment map right inside of the shadow catcher plug the same environment map right inside the environment slot set this to environment projection on the geometry and you will basically get uh, your car or any any CG objects looking there like they are really integrated within the scene as you can see right here okay you can see the environment map is a little bit blurry but that's because I used the lower lower resolution version I can show you maybe the higher resolution version which is which is actually quite huge so it's gonna take a few seconds to load It has it's twenty thousand almost twenty thousand pixels wide so and it's HDR data so it's not exactly not exactly small map therefore it takes a while to load but it seems like it's almost loaded just give it a few more seconds and it's a really big map. Wow. There we go. Our huge map has loaded. So now if, if I render ahead, you can see the map is perfectly sharp and our car really looks like it's sitting straight in the scene. Maybe if we can just play around with the contrast with some of the color mapping settings. Just make interesting image out of it. okay just maybe try one more angle it's kind of nice to look at but again as i said if you have just a hdri image without backplate uh, the ways to place it are very limited so it does look like it's sitting somewhere in the in the environment map okay so this is it for uh, for the current use case and I will show you more in the next lesson. So see you then